where Nias becomes an unlikely cult hero and coming off the bench to net twice and secure Ronald Koeman's side crucial win. And to think there was a point, not so long ago, when Umar Nias wasn't even considered worthy of having a locker. The man who has had to contend with derision, being labeled the worst signing in Everton's history, suddenly finds himself cast in the role of the new cult hero of Goodison Park. This has been a quite remarkable turnaround. Ronald Koeman decided after seeing him for 45 minutes in his first training session last summer that he had no future. But he may well owe him apology after Nias's crucial intervention transformed a game that appeared to be slipping away from Everton. Everton, 4-2-3-1, Pickford, Martina, Kenny 76, Holgate, Williams, Baines, Guy, Schneiderlin, Clausen, Davis 55, Rooney, Nias 55, Sigurdsson, Calvert-Lewin. Subs not used, Ramirez, Stekielenberg, Vlasic, Lookman. Goals, Nias 77, 82. Yellow cards, Schneiderlin, Davis, Nias. Bournemouth, 4-4-2, Bogovic, A. Smith, Francis, Aik, Musa 83, Daniels, Ibe, Gosling, Sermon, Stanislas, King, Cook 79, Defoe, A. Phobie 75. Subs not used, Pew, Ramsdale, L. Cook, Fraser, Muset. Goals, King 49. Yellow cards, Stanislas. Attendance, 38,133. Referee, Martin Atkinson. Nias brought Everton back on terms following good work from fellow substitute Tom Davis. Four more C Sports Mail's excellent match zone. Nias scored twice late on to secure Everton's first Premier League success since the opening day of the season and cap a brilliant personal week following his strike against Sunderland in the Carabao Cup. Yet it could have been so different. Bournemouth, thanks to Josh King, took the lead and had an opportunity to put Everton to the sword. Eddie Howe will know they contributed to their own downfall as much as Nias. Still, it would take a hard heart not to begrudge Nias this moment and perhaps, 20 months after his pound 13.5 million arrival from Lokomotiv Moscow, he is ready to kickstart his Everton career. He has certainly given his team some much-needed momentum. For all that Wednesday's comfortable dismissal of Sunderland stopped the rot, you could still feel the tension inside the stadium before kickoff, and that was fueled, in part, by the team Komen selected. Out went John Joe Kenny, Nikola Vlasic, Tom Davis, and Sandro Ramirez, the Tyros who had given Everton energy, and then came Jolfi Sigurdsson. Kuko Martina, Davy Clausen, and Wayne Rooney, who was making his 400th Premier League start. But including all of those players slowed the tempo down and it made the first half a horribly tedious affair. Everton passed the ball around for the sake of it, without ever threatening to create something, while Bournemouth sat back and soaked it all up. Rooney, inevitably, commands a focus but what about Clausen and Sigurdsson? They cost a combined pound 70 million and were brought in by Komen to make the difference in these kind of games with deft, delicate passing. So far, though, they have flirted on the periphery. Klaassen appears to have found the Premier League a culture shock compared to life in Holland while Sigurdsson, bar his stunning goal in split, has not made any kind of impact. They must improve. The trouble of having two key parts of the system malfunctioning, however, means a huge stress is put on the rest of the team and, in this current toothless guise, Everton are always just one step away from facing a calamity. Bournemouth did not show much adventure before the interval, other than a shot from junior Stanislas that was comfortably gathered by Jordan Pickford, but the way they moved the ball left the impression they had a devastating break in them. So it proved just after half-time. As Everton tried to settle back into the game, in the blink of an eye it was taken out of their grasp as Charlie Daniels darted into win possession and instantly released King. Mason Holgate tried to keep tabs with King but the striker was too powerful and, after holding off his challenge, he swept a drive beyond Pickford that ripped into the park and net and left Everton staring at a crisis. That they were able to extricate themselves from such a bleak position owed much to events in the 51st minute. 
Another quick break from Bournemouth looked like it would lead to a second goal but Jermaine Defoe's shot was superbly saved by Pickford. It was the defining moment. Komen, aware of the building opprobrium, threw the dice and took Rooney, whose face had been badly damaged by a collision with Simon Francis, and Claussen out of the game, replacing them with Nias and Davis. Suddenly a spark was lit in the stadium and rather than growling at their team, Goodison Park became a bear pit with the vast majority of the 38,133 crowd imploring Everton to score a goal. Eventually the mounting pressure paid off when Nias thrashed in a drive from his fellow substitute in the 77th minute to end Everton's barren run of 347 minutes without a Premier League goal. The noise which greeted that intervention was considerable but pandemonium followed in the 81st minute when Nias doubled up, bundling in at the second attempt after Davis had seen a shot blocked.